Now, sometime between 2017 and 2019, in a quiet UCLA research lab, three scientists, Dr. Michael Lowry, Dr. Heather Christoph, and Dr. Michael Young, were studying hair follicle stem cells. One day, they noticed that when they blocked something called the mitochondrial pyruvate carrier, dormant hair follicles began to grow again. In mice, they found that new hair began to grow in previously bald areas. And they initially used a molecule called UK5099 to achieve this. But because it wasn't suitable in humans, they refined it and created a new compound that we now know as PP405, a topical MPC inhibitor designed for human use. Realizing the potential, the scientists licensed the compound and co-founded a startup company called Peleg Pharmaceuticals in 2019. Between 2019 and 2021, they performed preclinical trials on mice. Results were promising, showing dense hair growth in mice, and it was well tolerated with low systemic absorption. At this point, Peleg Pharmaceuticals prepared for human trials. Now let's pause our story for just a second for me to tell you the four phases of clinical trials. These four phases, or tests if you like, need to happen before you're able to pop a pill at home. Each phase builds on the previous one. Each phase uses more participants as well to assess the safety and effectiveness of a treatment. Going back to our story, and now that you know the phases of the human trials, I can tell you that in 2022, the researchers performed the first phase one trial. They added topical PP405 to a small group of people over seven days and saw a significant increase in activity of hair follicle stem cells. They then moved to a phase two trial where 78 men and women with with androgenetic alopecia, each applied either PP405 solution or placebo once daily. After eight weeks, 31% of the men saw at least a 20% improvement in hair growth. And in the placebo group, there was a 0% improvement. One of the exciting things was that new hair grew in previously completely bald areas, areas that had been bald for a very long time. And there was no systemic absorption or side effects. And what was exciting about this at this point was that this was the only compound that showed true reactivation of hair follicle stem cells. Instead of just preserving hair follicles like finasteride and minoxidil do, so what's next? Phase three. The results are expected in 2026 to 2027 and will likely involve hundreds, if not thousands of participants. And if successful, Peleg Pharmaceuticals will definitely seek FDA and MHRA approval. So there's no doubt that this is exciting, but there are three important points to bear in mind. First point is that the phase two study has multiple flaws. The first flaw is that it is, of course, a small sample size, but more importantly, the study included both men and women. So for us men, it's not quite as informative. And whilst there were 78 participants, the likely number of men involved in the study was more like 25 to 30. I would also say that only 31% of men actually responded to the treatment, meaning roughly 70% didn't. And this does suggest that there could be a large group of non-responders to PP405. The study was also only eight weeks long. Hair cycles take months and compounds like finasteride and minoxidil often take six to 12 months to show their true benefit. The second important point to bear in mind is that if phase three is successful. The drug will still only be available in around 2030 to 2032, during which time a lot of our hair follicles will continue to miniaturize, unfortunately. The final important point is that there have been quite a lot of exciting hair compounds that showed promise in phase two trials, but just didn't quite succeed in phase three trials, such as compounds like SM04554 and the histogen hair stimulating complex. So a pinch of salt is always needed with this kind of research. However, what makes PP405 different is that its mechanism of action is new and doesn't rely on hormone changes or growth factors. It's also interesting that early human research confirmed stem cell activation. It's also exciting that the phase two trial involved no systemic absorption of the drug and no side effects. And finally, it is a good point that this is a UCLA backed research project and more likely to be of very high quality because of this. I hope this helped guys. Do subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the results of the phase three trial for PP405, as well as other hair loss updates.